So, Sony versus Canon. My name is Raf, I am a professional photographer based in Dublin. I'm a Canon user for well over 10 years, but uh, last couple months I actually also started using Sony um, A7 Mark III. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I choose this camera, uh, which I will be talking later, probably next video. Uh, but today let's focus on a really short side-by-side um, -side comparison uh, Canon uh, 7200 f4 IS and Sony FE S7200 um, f4 OSS. Last month I got assignment in National Concert Hall here in Dublin to shoot a concert and I decided to use a Sony mainly because I was able to actually using this silent shooter. Obviously, I knew I'm gonna use 7200. I have, I own a Canon version, which I'm really happy with and I'm using constantly on my uh, 5D Mark IV. Uh, but for this particular job, I wasn't really sure how this autofocus will work through a Sigma adapter. Uh, so I decided to rent a um, Sony version, uh, 7200 f4, and um, I actually have to admit uh, this lens is absolutely brilliant. It's beautifully uh, made um, and out of focus accuracy is absolutely fantastic. So having those two lenses, uh, that was really tempting to see how they perform side by side uh, in more or less controlled environments. Uh, so the result was really surprising and I'm really happy to share it uh, result with you guys. Check this out. So what you can see right now is a full frame at 200 millimeters Canon version f4. In this moment you see Sony. There is no much difference except some vignetting uh, in Canon version. Let's see this in close up. What we can see right now is a Sony. Looks beautiful, looks okay, but check this out. Now, Canon version is definitely for me, it's much sharper. We can see the texture of the book here. The letters are perfectly sharp. Let's see this side by side. For me, this is definitely Canon's win. Much sharper, much crisper uh, shot. Texture, definitely better. You see the letter M here. Okay, what about 135 millimeters uh, F4? Now we can see Canon. Uh, looks beautiful except um, this little vignetting uh, which is visible on Sony is basically clear uh, there is no vignetting at all now uh, to really to see this we need to go uh, into close-up uh, and now side by side uh, no doubt Sony wins in this uh, category so 135 millimeters f4 definitely win for Sony Okay, let's, let's have a quick look at 70 millimeters. This is already cropped frame, uh, otherwise we would not see anything. Uh, so frame from Canon, okay. And let's jump into Sony. Looks beautiful, both, um, no really complaints. But what ha happened if we go side by side? Guys, for me, this is definitely win for Sony again at 70 millimeters and 135 millimeters f4. Sony looks definitely better, sharper, crisper, and um, yeah, that's that's the conclusion. I hope that was interesting. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I will be absolutely uh, delighted to answer. And if you are interested to see more videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. See ya.